Hello everyone, myself Akash SB. My ID number is UGS20 HR9764. In the course of livestock and poultry healthcare, my assigned topic is methods of administration of medication. Different types of methods of administration are parenter. A drug administered parentally is one injected by halovenidal. Second one is oral, used for systematic effect. Substance is given through the digestive tract. Third one is topical. Drugs are applied topically on the skin. Rectal means uh, drugs given through the rectum. These are the different routes of administrations. They are oral, sublingual, by feeding tube, topical, transdermal, and uh, intranasal, inhalation, rectal, and uh, oral. These are the different uh, parental routes uh, administration administered at different angles. They are intramuscular, subcutaneous, uh, subvenous, intradermal. First one is a uh, parental route. Intravascular, placing a drug directly into the bloodstream, maybe intravenous or uh, intraatrial. Intravenous means into the vein, uh, intraatrial means directly into the artery. The advantages are precise, accurate, and immediate onset of action and 100% uh, bioavailability. Disadvantages are, disadvantages are risk of embolism, higher concentration attained rapidly, leading to greater risk of adverse effect. Next one is intravenous, rapid onset of action, higher initial body levels of drugs, and uh, shorter duration of activity. Drug concentration is uh, predictable. Injection techniques include bolus administration, intermittent therapy, and uh, infusion of fluid. Usually, water soluble drugs uh, causes uh, rarely emulsions intramuscular into the directly into the skeletal muscle. Uh, different advantages are suitable for injection of drugs in aqueous solution, and drug is suspension or emulsion. Disadvantages uh, are uh, pain at injection site for some uh, drugs. Subcutaneous, uh, slower onset of action and longer duration of activity. Large amount of solution can be given through this uh, method. Pellets can also be implanted in uh, subcutaneous space. Some broad spectrum vitamin and mineral combination are registered for subcutaneous administration only. The best method to administer, administer a subcutaneous injection is to lift skin fold and insert a needle as shown in the picture. Transdermal, delivered systematically through a patch of skin. Through the patch, drug passes through from scatano from blood stream, allowing it to de be delivered slowly and continuously. Useful for drugs that are normally eliminated from the body rapidly. Typically, mixed with chemical to enhance the skin penetration. Examples are uh, phenytalum and uh, negroglycerin. Intramammary typically have fast and even distributed and low degree of binding to other tissue. Result in lower concentration of uh, drug residues in milk, usually used in uh, mastitis disease treatment. Uh, the another method is uh, oral route by swallowing. That is, uh, drugs are inserted uh, directly inserted through the digestive tract. It is in, uh, intended for systematic effect, resulting from drug absor absorption through various epithelia and mucus of gastrointestinal tract. Some advantages are uh, convenient, uh, portable, no pain, there will be no pain as it is administered through the digestive tract and uh, easy to take as uh, pills and tablets will be available. Cheap, uh, no needle, no need to sterilize, compact, multi-dose as the, we will not use the syringes or needles. Different di disadvantages are sometimes inefficient, low solubility drugs may suffer poor availability, a first pass effect, uh, sometimes uh, may have adverse reactions, example antibiotics may kill normal gut flora and allow overgrowth of fungal varieties. Not suitable for unconscious patients. Patients must be able to swallow the doses of uh, solids. Uh, different liquid doses forms are, uh, they are given by dropper, syringes or drench or mixed with the food solutions. Different solutions are uh, syrup, syrups and uh, tinctures, suspensions and uh, emulsions. These are the liquid doses forms. Solid dose forms are uh, tablets, uh, Caplets, capsules, uh, powders are given through the solid doses. Topical roots are, are uh, topical medication goes on the surface of the skin or mucous membrane. Slowest uh, systematic absorption rate used for localized treatment. Fur and feathers inhibit good skin contact, includes uh, ophthalmic and uh, otic medications. Rectal root, most commonly by Enema, uh, enema. Advantages are uh, bypass liver. Some of the veins draining and the rectum lead directly to the general circulation. Thus, by passing the liver, reduce first pass effect. Second one is uh, useful. Uh, this route may be most useful for patients unable to take drugs orally or with uh, younger children. If patients is vomiting 
regularly. Inhalation route, uh, used for gaseous and volatile agents and aerosols. Solids and liquids are uh, excluded if larger than 20 micron. The particles impact in the mouth and throat, smaller than 0.5 micron. They aren't retained. Advantages are uh, larger surface area, thin membrane has separate alveol form uh, circulation, higher blood flow. As a result of that, a rapid onset of action due to rapid access of circulation. Sixth one is inhalation route. Uh, disadvantages of inhalation routes are uh, most addictive route of administration because it eats the brain so quickly. Difficulties in regulating the exact amount of dosage. Sometimes uh, patients having uh, difficulties in giving themselves a drug inhaler. Thank you. Thank you, Anna.